hi there this is Sanjay and in this video we will discuss more about entity list right so in our last video you, you, you have uh, seen that uh, how we can uh, create a list entity list and display dynamics 365 entity records on a portal page right you can see here with paging it is displaying now if I want to enable a search box for this entity list how can I enable this so first I will go to power apps and I will click on this entity list control and I will write in the right side component uh, panel I will go to settings and here I will click on this enable search in list okay now once it is done I will just click on save and click on browse okay so once you click browse the entity list will now contain a search box at the top okay so let us wait it is trying to refresh the window right now I have a ready-made search box with me uh, by, which, by, by using which I can search any record from this uh, case right for example if I will show something like adventure and I will use wildcard star it's not giving okay let me short using uh, a case number right now once I have used uh, used this search box to search my case record then I can see the uh, case record is displaying for me so this is how we can introduce the search box uh, for a specific entity list now if I want to edit this search box for example without this search as a placeholder I want to use something else like search case number so how to do that you have to go to entity list here and we have to open this entity list in the portal management app and if you go down scroll down you will see there is a section called it search so search is enabled here here you want to mention the placeholder for example if I want to display edge search case and I will just click on save here and I want to also display some tooltip please provide provide case number okay once it is done I will click on save and once it is saved I will go here and click on sync configuration now once the sync configuration is done I will click on browse website Now once I have browsed you can see here the placeholder now displaying as search case and on mouse over you will see the tooltip displaying as provide case number. So this is how we can edit this search box. Okay. Now once we have added this search box we can also work on some more features for this entity list. Okay. So I will discuss about more features in next video. Thank you.